Welcome back and covering your community. The second annual Florida Law Enforcement Appreciation Event. It's all happening this weekend and here to talk more about the event is Chris Lewis with 1350 Apparel. Chris, thank you so much for being here. A retired law enforcement. That's right. And you started this business, 1350 Apparel, which um, designs apparel for law enforcement um, agencies around the country, but also for families and those who support law enforcement. What made you decide to do this event? Why is this so important to you? So yeah, the brand started uh, while I was in law enforcement and as it grew, we saw a need to get back uh, to the first responder community. So we started the Operation Responder Initiative and through that, we donate a lot of proceeds that we generate in the business to different charitable organizations. And we decided last year that we wanted to host an event to honor our law enforcement officers here in Florida. And it, the plan is to keep growing that every year, starting with this year. That's wonderful. So tell us about the event, what people can expect. Is it family friendly? Yeah, so this is a free event. It's open to the public. Mm -hmm. uh, we encourage all families to come. It's going to be great for kids. We have all different kinds of things for different age groups to do. Um, we're going to have static displays for law enforcement. We're going to have food. We're going to have a bar. We're going to have bounce houses, kids activities, uh, a ceremony where we honor the fallen law enforcement officers from 2022. That's going to be happening at two o'clock. Uh, lots of different things for you guys to do there. That's fantastic. And, um, you know, kiddos love to go out. You said you had little ones of your own, but to go out and to see the police cars up close and personal, the, the, those things are fun. But also just to be able to meet law enforcement and to shake their hand and to say thank you, if you will, for all that you all do each and every day to keep our community safe. Those are good, important values to instill in our kids. Absolutely. Yeah, this is going to be a great opportunity for everybody to come out and see the actual law enforcement officers that are serving our community. We're going to have agencies from all over South Florida there and it's going to be a great opportunity for everybody to get together and show appreciation to them. And, and you talked a little bit about honoring the fallen officers. Um, of course, you hope each year that that's not part of a ceremony that you have to do, but unfortunately this year we will. Um, what, what will you do for those fallen officers? So we're going to do a ceremony at two o'clock. We're going to read off the names of the fallen law enforcement officers and then we have another ceremony at eight o'clock, a candlelight vigil where members of the event will be able to participate in the candlelight vigil in a moment of silence where we honor them. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for doing yeah, this event. Anxious to see this grow over the years. If you'd like more information about the event, it is on Saturday. We've got it all on our website, WPBF.com. We've linked it to their site so you can find out a free family fun event. Weather should be decent, Vanessa. So uh, go out and check it out. Thank you so much. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you. And good morning.